What is going on guys? Jason Burke here, Styles Clash for Life, coming at you on YouTube, and today I've got another haul video. Uh, hopefully you're seeing this amongst my other two haul videos that are going to be put up around the same time. Again, I'm back on YouTube after a uh, about a month hiatus, after a bunch of problems with my laptop and my editing program and my computer, um, my camera. Everything was just giving me problems right now, so I haven't been on for a while, but I promise to come back with haul videos and DVD and book reviews and, um, you know, wrestling stuff and, and horror stuff and unboxings if I, if I still have those to do. I haven't gotten any boxes for a while. I'm trying to watch money and everything. But I do have a quick haul video for you guys today. This was two different trips I took. One was to Half Price Books when I was there selling my book, Never Say Goodbye, which is available now. Go check it out. And um, the other one was to Target. I just browse and look for cheap DVDs at these places. So this is a Half Price Books and Target. Uh, very quick. Only five DVDs here, five titles. But uh, a quick little uh, haul for you guys to see what you guys think. Uh, the first one, I really enjoyed this. It is uh, from Half Price Books. It is Amusement. It was $2. And uh, the cover just really struck me as cool. There's, there's like a kind of a clown there. It's like a little uh, kind of a Pennywise kind of a deal. I just, uh, I'm fascinated and terrified by clowns. So uh, it's called Amusement. And I did watch this already as soon as I got it. I'd never seen it before or heard of it until this... Uh, this pickup, I figured two bucks, what the hell? But uh, I did pick it up, and I really enjoyed it. I watched it the day after I got it. Uh, it's a real quick little, like, hour and 30-minute uh, movie. It's basically, like, four tales, or three or four tales interspersed um, of uh, like abductions, I guess. There's a little backstory. Uh, I'm going to do a review on this, so I won't really spoil anything. But uh, there's good terror throughout. Each one of the stories is creepy. They do a good job of building suspense. It's a very fast watch. It uh, goes quickly. The story is real simple, so it doesn't lose its audience. And it also is well done. So I really enjoyed this. For a B-movie, I think it's really good. The tagline on the back is, His pleasure is your pain. Here's a look at the back here. So yeah, two bucks, random buy. I really enjoyed this. So I'll do a review for you guys if you want to see it. Uh, tell me if so down in the comments below. Or if you've seen this, what do you think of it? Uh, from Target, I got this... Two pack. I love getting their Target has good deals on like five dollar and ten dollar uh, two packs and three packs and four packs. They sell movies together in little bundles, and I look for those bargains all the time. Um, this is Scream and Scream Two together. Uh, I've owned both on VHS since they came out in like '95, um, but the VHS were getting worn down, and of course we all could use an upgrade. So this is a DVD upgrade for the first time for Scream and Scream Two. Uh, both. Classics. I love Wes Craven. I love the cast. Obviously, we all love Scream, right? Uh, it's kind of a, an, uh, a uh, what's the word? Sort of a, a, a breakdown, sort of a um, homage in my current book, Behind Empty Eyes, which also, also is a um, high school friend's murder mystery, which you've got to figure out who the killer is and why. So it's kind of like Scream in that way. Um, so check my, my book out pretty soon. It's going to be due out in October for Halloween. But this, anyway, um, I've watched both again, of course, on DVD. Great movies. They do have a lot of uh, special feature features as well on both parts. Here's the back. They come on uh, two separate discs, which I like, which is nice. There's a uh, guest commentary from Wes Craven on here. There's cast commentary. There's little featurettes, behind-the-scenes blooper reels, trailers. Some nice extras. So I think this was 5 bucks. I got both movies and a ton of extras, so well worth the upgrade here. Obviously, that was a steal. Also, five bucks, I got the special edition of Gremlins. This is another movie that I, uh, I owned on VHS, and uh, the tape was going bad. It was sorely due for an upgrade. I figured special edition, five bucks, can't beat it. I did rewatch this again for the first time in years since I was a kid, and I still loved it. Uh, of course, it's campy and goofy, but it holds up well. Love Gremlins. We all are Gremlins fans, of course. Um, special features of this movie, uh, ten minutes of never before seen footage. Uh, commentaries from the directors and the special effects guys, behind the scenes documentary, uh, photo storyboard gallery, cast and crew film highlights, theatrical trailer, uh, and I have watched about half of the features and they are good. I still haven't watched the commentaries or the documentary yet. Looking forward to checking those out. So great movie, good special features, five bucks. Can't beat Gremlins. Uh, these two also came from Half Price Books. I got Saw 4. I'm a huge Saw fan. I just, um, Last weekend, um, you know, the news broke that Saw was being greenlit. They're going to do a new one called Saw Legacy. It's the eighth installment. I'm a huge fan of the Saws, and I haven't rewatched many of them since uh, they first came out and I first watched them. Uh, and I owned them on either VHS or like some uh, some bad quality DVD DVDs. But uh, I had to upgrade my collection, so I did. I, I got the official versions of uh, Saw Four here. 
Um, rewatched them all in like two weekends through, on, a, on a Saturday and Sunday. I rewatched all seven of them. Uh, four is when it starts getting kind of wonky. One, two, and three are excellent. Uh, four through seven are not as good. They're still good movies. They're very good as standalones. But the story gets a little contrived and complicated, and you've got to watch them all in order. And even after watching them back to back, I was still like, wow, there's a lot of twists here. It's, it's kind of weird. But good movies here. Uh, lots of DVD features with the, with the traps and props and music videos, deleted scenes, commentary. Uh, so an upgrade from my, my Saw uh, DVD with a lot of features as well. This was $2. Can't beat it. And to go along with it, the director's cut of Saw 5, I also upgraded this from my um, bad quality DVD collection to an actual official feature. This also has the traps and props and music videos. Special features galore here. Um, 5 is probably one of the weaker ones in the series, but still overall a good movie. Even though it's bad for the Saws, it's still a good movie overall. Uh, so again, pretty cool art here. I've always liked the trap art of these. The DVDs also have good art on the cases. So, uh, special features and an upgrade, and this is the uh, director's cut unrated, so you're getting more of the gore and stuff too. So those are my five pickups from Half Price Books and uh, Target. What did you guys think? Do you own these? Have you seen them? What do you think of them? Should I do a review on these movies, and especially on Amusement, which is not as popular of a movie? What do you guys think? Tell me down below. What is your favorite item in this little haul? I would say mine is the Screams, just to be honest, but uh, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys and get back to talking to you guys and interact on your videos as well. Looking forward to that. So again, stay scared, lock your doors, dim the lights, enjoy the movies, and I will see you guys real soon.